What's happening guys? Mike from Metacomics coming at you with a quick review for Captain America number 24. Let's get right into the story and then find out whether or not I liked it. So in this issue, Zola continues his assault on the Avengers, only it turns out it's all just a big ruse to get them into one spot so he can make them all go boom with a big giant bomb. Meanwhile, Zola and Jet have this really intense family meeting and then Ian goes after Sharon Carter who we found out is still alive in the last issue, and Falcon proves that he is much more than just a sidekick. And I'm going to leave it at that so that I don't spoil the issue for anybody. Uh, now let's talk about the good, the bad, and you know what my overall score is. So basically what I really enjoyed about this issue was there were some really great action sequences, some good fight scenes, especially with Falcon. He kind of took center stage in, in the fight scenes in this issue. Um, we got to see some really good character development with uh, Falcon and Jet, uh, both together and just separately. Uh, especially Falcon. Again, this was a very Falcon-centric issue, no doubt setting the stage for when he takes over as Captain America. Um, the Red Skull is back. That's a positive in my opinion. He's one of my favorite Captain America villains, so it's always awesome to see him back in the mix. Uh, the pacing was really good. You know, there was a lot of you know the character development and action scenes were pretty well balanced out. The art was very clean, and it was well detailed. It was just, I, beautiful, beautiful. I really enjoyed the art. really enhanced the story for me. Um, there wasn't much that I didn't care for in this issue. There's only, like, two things, really, and that was there just wasn't enough Steve Rogers in this. I mean, I know he's an old man, and he really can't do a whole lot, but I still really like that character, obviously. But um, I understand, you know, they're trying to kind of remove him and put him back in the shadows a little bit and give more of the spotlight to Falcon, so I'm cool with that. Uh, there wasn't a lot in the way of plot movement. Um, you know, it's like there was a lot of big fight scenes, but there wasn't much push to move the story itself forward. But, you know, it, there was a little bit of stuff in there, so I guess that's that's all right. Uh, there were some really good themes in this issue. Uh, you know, uh, the main one being family is important, and the bonds one makes with your f with family is the kind of bonds that can't be broken or forsaken. And family can be anybody, not just blood relatives. Um, I think we've seen that you know theme played over and over again in Guardians of the Galaxy and other Marvel books. Um, it's noble, good, and desirable to sacrifice oneself for the benefit of others who have given their time, talent, or even their lives to serve society or some greater cause that was something that really popped out for me in this issue that's kind of what falcon uh you know does more or less throughout this issue is he, he takes up that mantle and proves that he's more than just a sidekick overall very enjoyable solid issue uh could have been better with moving some of the plot forward but that's all right um overall score i give it an eight out of ten very good so if you're keeping up with captain america definitely pick it up um all right, make sure you leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the issue, uh, whether you agree, disagree. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Metacomics. Keep coming back because we're you know, putting out podcasts, and I've got some guys coming on board. We're going to do some more reviews, so much more is going to be covered than what I could do on my own. And um, we've had some technical issues with some of the podcasting. There's been some, some things going on with the last two episodes, so we're working those kinks out. So stay tuned. Keep watching. They're only going to get better from here. Uh, check us out on Facebook, too. Uh, just look up Metacomics, and you'll find us there. I'll include a link in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Take it easy.